Hi guys, Ron Suchu here. This is my uh, Essex Studio Gallery. Uh, sorry about the mess, it's always a busy place, so uh, that's the way things go. Anyway, let me uh, introduce you today to my very first Synergy piece. Synergy art is um, an art form that I created personally, and uh, we are going to take it to the world as soon as we have 30 of these pieces done. Let me just take you to the very first one. It's an exciting piece to see, and it has a very famous name attached to it, so let's go right now. Okay, we're going to walk up to it right now. This is called, this is the original piece. I'm going to try and make sure I got a little bit of, or not too much glare on it. Anyway, uh, the, I'm going to move over this. Yeah, that's it. That works. Anyway, uh, this piece was done with Dan Aykroyd, the very famous actor, singer, or a singer, yes, he was a singer, actually. They had a number one album with John Belushi as the Blues Brothers, and uh, Dan is the, the writer of Ghostbusters and uh, the Blues Brothers and, and the uh, host of the show, Sci Factor. So he's got a huge, huge uh, history behind him. But the one thing Dan never did was paint. Uh, he never picked up a brush. When I met him, we actually did a piece called the uh, the uh, Blues Most Cycle. And I'm actually going to all zip over there right now and come right back to this. Okay, so we're going to go back through this office. This is actually Colleen's and Kelsey's office. That's the Blues Most Cycle. And if you notice, there's Dan Aykroyd as Elwood Blues on there. But I'm going to go back because we're not going to worry about that one today. I'll walk you all the way through this. You'll get to know this gallery real quick. And so Synergy Art is done in three simple steps. The very first step is I start working with a famous uh, famous person. There's going to be 30 of these done in a row. And once we're done, we're actually going through a New York gallery. We're actually going to do a, a, a United States tour followed by a Canadian tour of the very first 30 paintings. The paintings themselves become a celebrity in themselves, and uh, there you're seeing two here right now. But the very first one that was done was with Dan Aykroyd. This was actually painted on the same table, the same exact table that Dan Aykroyd paint, uh, wrote Ghostbusters at. And we were in there, uh, Colleen and I were invited to uh, visit with Dan and Donna Dixon for a couple days up in, up in Kingston, Ontario at his place, his uh, family's farm that they've owned since uh, 1939, I believe, or yes, it was uh, 1839, sorry. So they, they uh, Dan's uh, daughters are the actual eighth generation on that farm. So anyway, when uh, I went with Dan, the picture I just showed you, the Bluesville cycle, we were doing a signing of that. Uh, he had hand signed the prints. I've also hand signed those prints. And uh, that after we were done our job, uh, Dan wanted to go get uh, Colleen and I some lunch. So he actually went and uh, picked up lunch. And I said, when you come back, do you mind doing another 15 minutes of work with me? And I surprised him with the synergy piece because as he was leaving, I asked him his favorite color. And that's the step number one with this is to get a favorite color. I had an empty canvas with me. I painted it very, very quickly. And that's all of the green half that you see below. And when Dan got back, he actually drew some circles or orbs, he called them. And that, that uh, alien symbol you see right here. And these things actually, as we walk through this thing real quickly, I'll show you. Uh, wow, that really did turn out nice, didn't it? The colors to me are so vibrant. Uh, that little alien, uh, I will uh, have, I have actually pictures of it before it was actually an alien, but you would see it in these uh, brush strokes. And you know, in Synergy, I'm actually finding the spirits that are trying to pop out at me. Sorry about the glare because of the, uh, the window behind me. But anyway, uh, if you notice right here, and my book is called The Wizard of Art. And if you look as I come in closely, do you see the wizard? You actually see his hat here and his eyes and his nose and his beard. I thought it was actually almost like what I do with Synergy is I'm a Transylvanian gypsy and I use my psyche to try and pull out the actual spirit of the painting. Like, for example, the, the gold 
the gold uh, uh, helmet on the bird was not something I created. It was something that was there in the first place. I saw the bird very obviously, but I also saw that. The bird is actually traveling through a strange dimension of time here. Uh, and actually, even in, in this piece here, you'll see Dan Aykroyd's, one of his crystal heads. The crystal head is uh, his vodka, his very famous vodka, and the crystal head vodka, they came up with a really, really special uh, bottle, which is called the Aurora. And the Aurora is neat because it has that kind of that the multiple colors that are on the actual surface, like as if you saw what, like, kind of a, like an oil slick, the colors of an oil slick. Anyway, there's a symbol here, and I never asked Dan. And I, I've had an opportunity a couple times to talk to him, but I, I just didn't, I forgot to ask him each time. I don't know what the symbol is. You know, it'd be really great as anybody, if you see it and you know who, what it is, just give me a buzz and uh, let me know. Zipping over here, there's some more symbolic pieces. This one was almost like a theater mask. And this little guy here uh, was a strange one because, like I said, I actually tried to get the uh, spirits to talk to me in these paintings. And that one, and what happens is you're, it's like you're looking at uh, the shapes of the cloud and finding things in them. This one here, as I was trying to, and what I do is I find it and I actually just enhance it, like in, in this one here. That whole mask would have been there, but these uh, strong lines and everything, I would have added to it just to embellish it and bring it forward. And here is this little, a lot of people said mummified animal. And it actually does look like it. We, uh, Colleen and I were traveling to England one time. We ended up with a small uh, ceramic or uh, clay painted uh, uh, mummy that comes out of the, the tombs. Anyway, so... There you go. And then after, well, here's the, actually another piece that showed up. I just didn't, I don't go crazy. And if, I like to leave it so that uh, other people can find things in these art pieces. And then what happens is the black signature you see here is Dan Aykroyd's. I actually wrote his name in reverse. That was almost the Da Vinci. That's just a dedication. Dedicated to Da Vinci because he wrote everything backwards. And then what happens in synergy because it's two... Two, uh, two people coming together as a third party, I uh, blend the signatures together. So the next time we look at uh, one of these synergy pieces, we're actually going to look at the next one here. And it's done by the most famous bass player in the world. But we'll leave that until the next time. So, Ron Suchu, thanks for coming in, or coming by, and watching my video. And until next time, see you later. Take care of yourselves. Okay, goodbye.